first bass out of here not the biggest of size but you know it's the first fish of the day and i'm good with that i'll take it i'll take this all day long all day long First time out on a Hobie kayak, Hobie Outback. We're out here at the Kings River. Kings River. See if we can go try to find some large bass here. Feel pretty stable? I think I'm gonna like this. <laughs> Buddy, first fish. First, one of the day. first kayak fish. First kayak fish ever. There he is. First kayak fish ever. Total baits, stick bait. Dark watermelon, red flake. Awesome. It. Awesome, man. That's sick. That's sweet. Yes, sir. Got Ron on his first kayak fish. It just so happens I was filming at the time, so that's good. I'm thinking Ron's hooked on a kayak now. So I got another wife who's gonna be pissed off at me probably. <laughs> He's smiling. He's smiling. He knows. You get places where the boats can't. Yeah, there's no way in hell I'd be in my boat in this place. No. I'd, I'd tear something up. Yeah. Don't get bit with that core color. Uh -huh. Look to that solid black with the red plate. Okay. First bass out of here. It was very, very weird. It, uh, I threw it and it felt like I hooked into like a, a twig. Um, not the biggest of size, but you know, it's the first fish of the day and I'm good with that. Ended up getting it on uh, Ron's total bait, black and red flake, wacky rig. There it is, first bass of the day. I'll take it. I'll take this all day long. All day long. Still not catching up to Clay Guidi yet, though. He's got way bigger bass than me than this. But uh, we're working our way up there, buddy. Like you said, better than a day of work. Fish on, baby. Nonetheless. Oh, I lost 
missed it. It was decent. It popped off right when I grabbed it. Devoured! This is what I was looking for, baby! Yeah! <laughs> right there. There it is. Yes! Run! All right, here we go. Nice fish. Freaking money. These are ready to go. All right, well, we had a good day on the water, Ron and I, and uh, again, we just solely threw total baits, and um, I got hit on a dark green red flake. Uh, ended up getting a nice four pounder, 20 inch bass. Um, I caught a few other ones in the dink range, anywhere from probably 15 inches to 12 inches. That was a good day. First time fishing the river, first time in a kayak. Um, right off the bat, wacky style Cinco, uh, dark green pumpkin with black and red flake. Um, all day seems to be the ticket all day and we just had a good day six or seven fish a piece I think Ryan got the big one for the day four four and a half pounds. I caught a good two and a half pounder and uh, it was fun Yeah, pretty much uh, wacky is all I caught anything on like stick bait wacky setup using the the, the uh, rubber o-ring Yeah darker colors. Yeah, uh, did it for me. I tried drop shotting I did throw a top yeah. water bait, but that wasn't working. So I just shot away from it. No, it was a it was a Cinco day for sure wacky style um, 
the river's not that deep. I mean, we're looking four, four and a half, five, six feet deep in the deepest parts, and these fish were tucked right up in the shade, right up under the banks. Yeah, they're pretty much like a, about a foot or two right off the shore. I know today's water temp was about 66, 65 degrees. We'll come out here when it warms up a little more and maybe hopefully get some top water action in the future. So what was your first experience uh, of kayak fishing? What were your thoughts on kayak fishing? I had a good time. It wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be. Um, a pretty big guy in a, in a 12 foot kayak. Um, it didn't do too, too bad at all. Hopped right in it and took off, started fishing. Right, so as always, we're using the Hobie Outbacks. Uh, this is the older model here. Uh, this is a 2015, I believe, Hobie Outback. I got the newer model, the 2019. Uh, like you said, he's a larger guy. What are you, like six foot three? Six, six three, 275. 275. The kayak handled him well. Yeah, it's only 12 feet, but it's also like extremely wide, which gives you stability. I'm glad you had a good time and uh, hope we can get out again. I hope we can get you into a kayak here and lessen yeah. your boat. Because... No, I, I, you know what? <laughs> one thing I do have to say is uh, it was pretty windy this morning. And uh, even for a first time in a kayak, I didn't find myself fighting with the wind a, a whole lot at all. Um, you keep, keep the nose straight and you're going to go where you want to go. So being that this is your first time and you might most likely head out again a second time, what would you do differently versus this trip versus next trip when it comes down to like maybe gear you're bringing or clothing? Oh, I think I dress for the day. I had light pair of shorts, swimming trunks. I knew I was going to be getting wet. I'd cut down on the gear. I'd cut down on uh, the Plano boxes. I'd cut down on a rod. I'd only bring two rods instead of three. Once you get out here and you start figuring out the fish, you just, you go to your go-to rod all day and, uh, for us, it was just a Cinco, wacky Cinco all day, and we could have caught just as many fish with one rod apiece. Yeah. Uh, no need for all that extra extra gear. But like I said, it all that extra gear didn't get in the way. Kayaks are laid out really nice. The, the rod holders are in a good position, and they didn't get in my way one bit. It just overall, overall good experience. So these three baits right here is, uh, are the baits that we use exclusively today. Dark watermelon, red flake, black flake, solid black with red flake and a light watermelon with blue flake. Caught several fish today and used these three baits exclusively all day. All right, we're on our way home. Get back to our normal lives. Got to unpack, clean, get everything uh, ready to go for next time. So take care. Ron, thanks for coming out. Yes, sir, had a good time, thank you. And uh, see you next time. Fish had that fish in the kayak and spit this up, looked like a Black and blue crawdad is regurgitated. <laughs> Savage. <laughs>